My name is Walter Hopkins and I'm an assistant physicist at Argonne National Laboratory. My research involves studying photon-photon collisions at the CERN Large Hadron Collider. And when these photons collide, a bunch of particles come out and these particles can give us insight into what fundamental particles exist in nature, how they interact. And not only do we record the data, we also have to simulate data so we know what we expect and look at the data and compare it. This is very data intensive, data processing intensive, storage intensive, and so on. And so without cube computing, it's impossible to analyze all this data. Something that I focus on is the computing of processing this data so we can dig through it to find potentially something that's completely new and different from what we expected with our standard model of particle physics. So Aurora will be one of the most powerful supercomputers in the world. It has the potential to benefit particle physics by introducing significantly more computing power to the field. The simulation needs that we currently have will only use a fraction of the computing power of Aurora. So this opens up doors that were closed before. We couldn't, for example, simulate as much data as we may want to if we really want to probe the edges of our simulated data. And now this could potentially no longer be the case. We won't have that boundary with this significant increase in computing power. Or it could change our workflows drastically. We could potentially simulate more data, process data quickly and not even store it. So if someone had an idea, we could quickly produce something versus waiting maybe weeks or something like that to the study that someone may want to do. So maybe in the future, some future generations of engineers and physicists will have an idea how to use knowledge of the Higgs boson, but without that knowledge, they won't be able to apply it.